In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Queen of Martyrs, Saints Cosmas and Damian, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Church commemorates uh, Saints Cosmas and Damian, whose names we hear um, frequently in this chapel, since we almost always use the first Eucharistic prayer. We mention their names every day during the Eucharistic prayer uh, amongst the apostles and martyrs. And uh, little is known definitely about their lives. Their reputations uh, far exceed what, what history has recorded um, definitely. But we do know that uh, they were persecuted and killed during the persecution of Diocletian, and it seems about the year 287. They were brothers, physicians, and their fame among the people of their day was, um, besides the fact that they were devoted Christians and evangelists, they spoke about Christ at every opportunity, but they were also practitioners of great charity because they uh, it is said, accepted no payment for their services. So they were healers, uh, disinterested healers uh, for Christ. And because of their fame, even in their own day, uh, when the persecution broke out, they quickly became targets. And uh, they were ordered to be beheaded, I believe, After their death, uh, we know that at least um, as early as the year 400, uh, there was a church in their honor and there was a wealthy pagan uh, who was known to have gone there and prayed. So that's a fact recorded in history that lets us um, say with certainty that that there was this uh, cult and basilica already existent in the year 400, so slightly over 100 years after their death. Uh, Their fame continued to grow because of many miracles that are associated with their intercession, and a practice became um, sprung up in Constantinople of what was called incubation, and uh, sick people were allowed to go and sleep in the church overnight and many people received cures, and the writers of the time uh, praised the power of Saints Cosmas and Damien in this practice as being even more effective than the, the uh, pool at Bethsaida, the famous episode from the gospel where once per day somebody could enter into the pool and be healed, whereas uh, the writers say that the whole crowd of sick who were there would be healed. So uh, Saints Cosmos and Damien continued their healing practice even after their death and to this day are greatly revered throughout the entire church and remembered uh, in the first Eucharistic prayer. It's very providential that today was the date selected to have the Doctors for Life rally down at uh, the Planned Parenthood Clinic here as part of the 40 Days for Life uh, campaign of prayer and fasting to ask the Lord to bring about a conversion in the hearts of the people and in particular in the hearts of those practitioners of the sin of abortion, which is so uh, antithetical to what doctors are supposed to be about this Doctors for Life rally um, will gather together uh, upwards of uh, 15 or so uh, medical doctors who, were, who are coming forth to give their testimony in favor of life and in favor of the humanity of the preborn child. 
And we hope that their testimony will inspire people to a new respect for life. It's the testimony of doctors, of course, is especially persuasive. And just like all of society, even the profession of medicine now is in need of healing uh, with so many ideas um, being introduced into the training of doctors which really are not consistent with healing. So let us ask also the intercession of Saints Cosmas and Damien today for this event and uh, for the 40 Days for Life and for healing in our culture and that spirit of generosity uh, in nurturing life without seeking personal profit uh, Perhaps some of the problems in medicine today um, with practices such as abortion and euthanasia and the promotion of contraception, perhaps a lot of these are driven even by plain base greed and the profit to be made. So may Saints Cosmos and Damien uh, restore the true spirit of medicine uh, to our age. And may the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of all saints, intercede for us. Praise be Jesus and Mary.